All right. Thanks for joining us today. We are looking at Jack O'Lantern from the upcoming Spider-Man and Venom Absolute Carnage set. He is number 41. We are going to take a look at his sculpt uh, and his powers and abilities. And then we're going to break it down a little bit on one particular power combination that is pretty cool. First, let's take a look at these sculpts. There have been a few jack-o'-lanterns in Heroclix over the years, uh, and I usually like the sculpts that they are given. They uh, are pretty cool. I like the flame effects, the, uh, the Halloween look and feel to them. Uh, it's pretty cool. Let's take a close look here at those flaming pumpkin heads. Uh, so each one is cool in its own way. Uh, this current version, based on that digital render, uh, looks pretty sharp. And then we'll see what it looks like when we see the actual figure. But it looks like he has a uh, glowing pumpkin bomb in his hand. And uh, the glowing effects underneath the glider that he's on look super sharp. All right, let's take a look at what this jack-o'-lantern is uh, bringing to the team. Uh, he has two traits. The first one is pumpkin bombs. He starts the game with the pumpkin bomb equipped at no cost. Now, we haven't seen what that special uh, equipment object is, uh, so I don't know what it's going to give you. Uh, but as soon as they reveal that, we'll do a video breaking it down. His other part is hallucinogenic pumpkin bomb smoke cloud as free but only to generate three markers uh, free smoke cloud always a good thing i like free smoke cloud free barrier any of those type of free terrain that you can get out there helps you control the map and those are always good this trait also gives you when an opposing character occupies one of the smoke cloud markers makes an attack Characters they would target can use shape change. So not only are they the opponent, if they're in that smoke cloud marker, picking up the minus one to attack that you get just by being in smoke cloud, they are also uh, given you the chance to shape change out of that attack. Uh, so that's a pretty cool boost uh, with that. And free smoke cloud, Jack lantern can throw that smoke cloud out around him. Somebody comes up, tries to attack him and they're picking up the reducers and the chance for him to shape change out. Uh, you'll notice that he also has the uh, Sinister Syndicate team ability. And then let's take a look at what's going on here with his dial. In this set, you'll know that the last three clicks there, if they have that split dial, clicks 9, 10, and 11, and the secret identity listed up there at the top of the card, uh, means that there's another figure in this set that can secret identity into this jack-o'-lantern uh, starting on click nine. So uh, we've seen some characters that can uh, secret identity into a couple different characters. Uh, so if you do that into this jack-o'-lantern, you're coming in with running shot, toughness, and his traits. Uh, that moves into sidestep, penetrating and uh, the willpower at the last click there on click 11. Now, if you just pay, play him at the 60 point value, uh, instead of playing a different character that then will secret identity into those last three clicks. So Jack lantern at his regular point value, 60 points, comes in with six range, he flies, he has run and shot, 17 defense with toughness, uh, 10 attack, three damage. Now, we don't know what those pumpkin bombs give him. Maybe it gives him a boost to attack. Maybe it gives something like an energy explosion or who knows. But we notice that there are no powers on his attack and his defense on those top two clicks. So probably the pumpkin bomb is giving him something in those areas. The 17 defense is usually low, but remember he has that smoke cloud as free so that gives him the chance to uh, have some additional defense so if somebody doesn't ignore hindrance and they shoot through the smoke cloud 
he'd be picking up plus one. If they're in his smoke cloud and they try to attack out of it, then they're picking up a minus one to their attack. And the smoke cloud gives him shape change if the attacker is in that smoke cloud. Jack-o'-lantern moves on to sidestep on his middle clicks, but picks up range combat expert. On his last two clicks, he's picking up force blast, pulse wave, willpower. Uh, nine movement, nine and a 10 attack, 16 defense, and two damage. But let's really break down what Force Blast Pulse Wave does. Uh, lo lots of times players get a little bit confused on this. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail because I love using Pulse Wave with other powers that kind of catch people off guard. So on this particular dial, these powers are already combined for you. Uh, lots of times if I have a Pulse Wave character, I'll try to find other ways to give him or her something that combines well with it. Uh, but let's look at this one. So Pulse Wave, the important part of the power is, for this example, is other characters within range can't use powers or abilities for this action. Combined with Force Blast, Force Blast gives you knockback. And then the attack sequence, the way this works is you attack sequence, you target, you calculate your attack value, you figure out if you hit somebody, calculate out the damage, then the damage sequence kicks in, then the knockback kicks in, then the sequence resolves. So for that whole attack sequence, pulse wave is in play, which means things that would usually, powers and abilities that would usually prevent knockback from happening the characters can't use them because of pulse wave. Reducers that would usually stop the knockback damage, reduce knockback damage, those powers and abilities also can't be used because of pulse wave. So if you hit somebody while you have force blast and pulse wave, you're gonna knock them back uh, unless their size is pre preventing the knockback, but you're getting past their powers and abilities. That knockback is going to cause damage if they if they hit into something or fall off of elevation because their reducers are also not in play. So force black force blast pulse wave is a, a great way to deal out extra damage not just from the pulse wave but then that extra damage after the fact by being able to knock them back, hit them into things, get past their reducers, past their knockback prevention, uh, and usually that catches. Uh, opponents off guard. Uh, you as the player that's fielding this type of character, you need to be up to speed on that combination of powers and the sequence so that you can explain it should it be questioned. Uh, so hopefully this breakdown helps with that. All right, all in all, I think this figure looks great based on the, the uh, digital render that we're seeing. Uh, we'll see what it looks like in real life. Uh, but I like the power set. I like figures that start with equipment. It's gonna be really cool to see what that equipment gives uh, him. And I can't wait to put him onto some pretty cool Spider-Man villain type of teams. All right, thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Check it out. If you dig what we do, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.